Hi, my name is Patrice Collins, and I decided to do my presentation on the Coxsackie virus. Included is an outline, so I'm going to begin with the disease cause, patient presentation and symptoms, treatment, and move on to transmission, reservoirs, and the genetic makeup of the Coxsackie virus. So in doing the research, I was able to find out that the Coxsackie virus actually causes two different types of illnesses. Type A is the most common, which the majority of people are um, most familiar with, known as the hand, foot, and mouth disease. Um, sometimes classified as a Coxsackie A16, and this typically affects children ages 10 years and younger. However, adults can also contract this disease. They typically want pregnant women to avoid children or other adults who have the Coxsackie virus of hand, foot, and mouth because of the possible transmission from mom to fetus. Um, the next type is type B, known as the epidemic pleurodynia, and this is classified under Coxsackie strands B1 through 6. Both type 8 and type B can lead to meningitis, pericarditis, and myocarditis. So the patient presentation and symptoms, there is an incubation period, which lasts about one to two days. During this, pe during this period, an individual will experience a fever, poor appetite, sore throat, coughing, and just the general feeling of tiredness. After a day or two, the sores will begin to develop in the mouth, and as well as small blisters. Once the blisters burst, um, there's more coming, <laughs> and a rash develops. The rash typically um, can be seen on the palms of hands, the soles of feet, the buttocks, and the genital area. Uh, more severe cases of the Coxsackie virus can lead to conjunct conjunctivitis. Um, typically, everyone makes a full recovery. The Coxsackie virus is highly contagious, especially um, one week after being exposed. However, it can also be mildly contagious for several weeks after being exposed to this virus. Here are just some pictures. So here on the left, there is a palm of an infant's hand with a rash. Uh, the picture in the middle shows the sole of a feet of a foot, sorry, um, the palm of the hand and also the sores around the little baby's mouth. So the sores develop outside the mouth and within the mouth as you can see in the picture on the right. <clears throat> there is no specific treatment for hand, foot, and mouth disease. Um, it typically resolves within two to ten days. However, you can treat the symptoms. So during that incubation period, it is very important to control the fevers. You give them Tylenol, Motrin, um, for the mouth discomfort, for the sores in the mouth, there's oral sprays, mouthwash, um, milk. You always want to push fluids to avoid and prevent dehydration. And you can also just treat the itchy rash that presents with this um, virus. So you can treat it with maybe topical um, form of Benadryl. I just included two images there about the importance of prevention, wash, hand washing. Transmission, so the fecal oral route is the main transmission of this virus. However, it can also be transmitted through droplets or direct contact. Like I said, it um, typically affects children ages 10 and younger it's seen mainly in schools and daycares for sure. So when you're changing a baby or, um, or if you see blisters and the fluid comes out of the blisters, make sure you disinfect, 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 wash hands. Um, most daycares and schools should definitely send the children home seeing that they have fevers. <coughs> But um, that contact, so if there's like fluid from that blister 
on a toy and another kid picks up that toy, puts it in his mouth and he has it um, coughing, sneezing. So there's that uh, respiratory aerosol. But the main thing is hand washing because of that fecal oral route. We as humans are the only known reservoirs for the Coxsackie virus. So I included some images of the children and how they put things in their mouth and just the human body. Last but not least, we have the genetic makeup. So the Coxsackie virus is a sub-member of the enterovirus. It's also a member of the Pacano Verde family. So Pico means small virus. The Coxsackie virus is very small and it is single-stranded RNA genome. So that's just a 3D picture on the left of the Coxsackie virus. It's spherical in shape, very small, like I said, about 20 to 30 nanometers, symmetrical, and it does not include an envelope. Um, the picture on the right is a picture of the Coxsackie virus that can be seen under a microscope. So this concludes my presentation. Here are my references. If you'd like to learn more about the Coxsackie virus, um, particularly the hand, foot, and mouth, just click on some of the links. And I hope that my presentation was fun and interesting and you learned something. Thank you.